Hi, Greg Griffiths here from Ivanhoe Cycles. Just like to sh show you the 2017 Giant Contend SL. Uh, this is the um, SL1, which is the second model in the range. The SL2 is the base one. Um, it's a brand new model for 2017 with an aluminium frame, uh, the SL fork, and uh, has hydraulic disc brakes. So this uh, Contend SL1 has uh, Shimano hydraulic disc brakes and Shimano gears operated by, by the STI lever, which is here on the handlebar. STI is an acronym for Shimano Total Integration, which means the brake and the gear lever are integrated together. So pull it back towards the handlebar to operate the brake, push it sideways to change gears. So the large lever changes up, the small lever changes down to a harder gear. So just one press of the lever is a gear change, so very simple to do um, and no problem at all for most people. Uh, the right hand shifter is for the rear, the left hand shifter is for the front. The Contend SL1 has Shimano 105 gears which is 22 speed, operated by the STI levers, two cogs at the front, so to change from the large chainring to the small it's just a matter of flicking the lever, the change changes down. At the rear we have 11 cogs, the smallest one, uh, if that's too hard for you, you're going up a hill you just push the lever, each click of the lever is one gear change and progressively up through the gear range. So, uh, with this range of gears and the actual gear ratios, uh, provides gearing that would enable most riders, whether the bike's uh, loaded or not, to get up most hills. So it's quite a, a uh, user-friendly operation and uh, system on the, on the gears. Okay, the Contend SL has hydraulic disc brakes, so we have a disc attached to both the front and the rear hubs, and a brake caliper at the rear of the fork. So operated by the brake lever, a hydraulic disc brakes gives you a very nice smooth uh, progressive feel at the lever and also low pressure so people with small hands or weaker hands also find these brakes very good. Um, the advantages of disc brakes include uh, that you have no rim wear from braking so the wheels tend to last longer but also the braking is much more consistent across all weather and, and road conditions so if it's wet or dirty or you've got grit on the road normally that affects the braking but in this case the brakes are not affected you have consistent braking all year round. So really good on a bike of this price range. It's a bike that's aimed at the uh, recreational road bike rider, but would be make a great commuter bike or even a touring bike. As it has pannier rack mounts on the rear of the bike, you could fit a pannier rack, so they're carrying books to school, uh, equipment to work, or if you wanted to do a weekend tour, it's also suitable for that type of riding. This bike has uh, 25 millimeter tires as standard, so it's slightly bigger than a regular road bike tire, and ideal for uh, puncture prevention, a smoother ride, and also um, a bit more load carrying capacity. So if you do have a load at the back, the bigger tyres help with that. Interestingly, this bike also comes with a Garmin computer mount as a standard fitting from the bike, and also a light bracket also on the handlebar. So this options usually people have to pay extra for. In this case, it comes with the bike. Thank you.